In today's video, guys, I have got tips and tricks to help you progress and get super pro, super overpowered, and hopefully all of the pets that you desire in Bubblegum Simulator. But first, we can't exactly have a conversation with all these pets in my face, so let me just quickly fix that. That is so, so much better. Guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Ethan. I hope you enjoy. If you do, leave a like. Let me help you get better at Bubblegum Simulator, guys. That is the plan. I have got some notes. Listen to this. That's the sound of paper. Papery notes. They're going to help you regardless of where you're at in the game, okay? Let's just quickly have a scroll through my inventory. So, if you're better than me at the game, you probably know a lot of these tips. If you're the same level as me, you probably know all of these tips. But if you are not as good as me, then it is time to sit down. Class is in session. Quit your talking in the back there, Timmy. I see you talking to Fred. Fred ain't got nothing to say to you. It is time to learn about the bubblegum simulator. So here's my inventory, guys. Really basic. I have this problem where I save up shiny versions of, like, event pets, and I just keep them, and I give them away to nice noobs, okay? Let's get right into things. We're gonna start from, like, the super basic if you're brand new to the game, or if you're just struggling in the early stages. And let me just farm some tickets in the background while I'm talking to you guys about this. So the first thing I want to talk about are your prizes or your bubble rewards. So, the eggs are great and all, so here is prizes that you get for hatching eggs, but if you're new to the game, this is a lot slower than blowing bubbles. Blowing bubbles is how you make money, which means you are naturally going to blow a lot of bubbles in this game. Collecting these legendaries is honestly your first step to getting good. You can see here, by the time I'd blown 30 billion bubbles, I didn't really care about these anymore. I had better pets, but I got all the way up to the shiny Frost Dominus. There's an Overlord here. Overlords are coveted for 15 billion bubbles. That's nothing, guys. You can do that super easy. You're doing it anyway. You need to upgrade. You need to unlock different worlds and things. So you are naturally just going to blow a lot of bubbles. And who knows, if you're really dedicated, you might be able to get this bad boy down here. This is worth lots. This is basically a secret pet. And of course, you've got these here. They give you 10 extra slots, 50, and then 100 extra slots, which allows you to open more eggs without having to delete which is awesome. If you are interested in seeing the bubble rewards like in action, I do have a Noob to Pro series on here with my account, Big Bubble Boy. I'll link a card right now. You can go watch that series if you want. It goes hand in hand with the prizes, but we'll quickly mention the bubble pass. Even if you're not buying the premium, the rewards on here are awesome. All of these boosts are so powerful. Golden Balloon is an event pet, helps you get tickets. And then obviously up here, Circus Stack, helps you get tickets, and if you can finish it every month, the cat mouse, super awesome. Let's quickly check out its stats. Maxed out cat mouse, 7,000 tickets, 25,000 gems, 27,000 coins. This is basically a starter secret pet. Super strong, can boost you so fast in the game, and all you gotta do is stick to these daily challenges. Do the daily challenges, do the weekly challenges. Whenever you're playing, be working on these. They help you decide what to do while you're playing. My third tip for you guys uh, requires a little bit of perspective, okay? I'm just going to give you a lowdown of what I mean. And it's basically grind more. You think that you're grinding a lot compared to a player like myself or people who are even better than me. You're, ba you're not even playing the game, dudes. You don't even know how much we grind. <laughs> to put it into perspective, I only have a couple of days left to get 30 billion tickets. I started with 4 billion this morning when I woke up. I've been awake for 4 hours. I have earned 4 billion tickets. I'm about to hit 10 billion. I'm going to get 30 billion in the next few days to get myself this guy, the Dragon Plushie, because yesterday I grinded nearly 15 billion and got the elephant in a day. That's how much we grind. I'm using an online timer that ticks over. It beeps at me every 15 minutes so I know that I can go and collect a chest. And then after three of them, I can get the 45 minute chests and then after another three the hour and a half and then two more later i can get the two hour one and that whole time every 15 minutes i'm collecting the coin chest from the starter world that's how much we grind when we want to be good at this game now you don't have to grind that much but you need to understand that you are not grinding as much as you think you are and if this is the game you want to be good at grind more or be smarter with your grind Use boosts if you've got some Robux to spend, or if you've got the group thing, which we'll talk about in a moment. Level up your pets. A very important grind is to level pet XP. 
Higher level pets are twice, if not three times better than their base level. It's insane. Always grind your gems. Remember, you can trade gems for currencies. You can use gems on event eggs, which is an amazing way to boost your progress. And of course, that leads into the reward islands, which we're going to talk about again later on, which is super powerful, especially if you're free to play. I mentioned the group reward, and I've got to say that it cannot be under, under it cannot be understated how important this is. Unlocking Beach World is more important than Toyland. Maybe I think you get Candyland really cheap. Toyland you could probably skip and get Beach World first. Join the Bubblegum Simulator group, which is linked in their game page. Get your group benefits. Look at that. Two times hatch speed for 20 minutes? That's insane. I could go into my bubble pass right now as well and just be like, okay, I got a 20 minute thing and I've also got this 20 minute, imagine I hadn't already used this. I've also got this 20 minute luck here. I'm gonna combine the two of them and I'm gonna smash out whichever egg I want a pet from. I know I need Atlantis pets or something like that. I'm gonna go spend 20 minutes and smash that out. It's gonna be amazing. If you get a boost, oh man. If you get a boost, I see so many people waste these. Let's say I just got a shells boost and people are like, oh yay, shells boost. So they get the chest here, they get the chest here, and they get the chest in the last area. And they're like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna do nothing for the next 18 minutes. No, dude, if you've got 20 minutes of shell boost and it takes you a minute to get all the chests, you need to spend 19 minutes collecting these. You're gonna get so many shells. Don't be lazy, dude. What are you going to do? Go open an egg? You're not going to get anything in 20 minutes from an egg. That's so unrealistic. Get yourself some shells so later on when you want like a king crab or you decide you're going to try and get the sea star or something like that, you've got shells. If you don't have all the rewards done, get the reward island done with those extra shells. Stop being lazy. Stop playing the game exactly how you want and start playing it efficiently and you will get the things that you want faster without even working for them. Let's talk the biggest one in the game. How, let's even go to the starting area because this is where this happens so much. All right. One, not only is it a waste of time to hop worlds looking for trades, this is really important. Let me just quickly say this for you. Like, I'm going to say this slowly and I want to explain this really well. If you use the Discord and you learn how to trade properly in Bubblegum Simulator, you could be better than me in a week. You can have better pets than me in a week, easily. As long as you get all the right trades, you get lucky, you use other people's advice. If you're really good at trading, you can get really good at this game. That's a one in a million. Most players are not good at trading. If you're not better than me, you probably shouldn't be trading because one of the best ways to progress in this game, and sadly, I have a lot of friends that do this, hop around servers, find players who have gotten lucky but are noobs, and then pay next to nothing for their really rare pets. The other day, I was offering for a guy's Diamond Tamer. I missed that bubble pass, the Season 3, I think it was. I missed the Diamond Tamer. I was offering for it, and he decided he didn't want to trade because just beforehand, he had traded his Dark Soul, which is the final reward from this season, for a really bad pet that he thought was good. He was a high level player, convinced him that a Crystal Hippogriff was a good rare pet that was no longer available in the game. He traded his Dark Soul for a Crystal Hippogriff. And then he asked me, while we were offering back and forth for the Diamond Tamer, is the Crystal Hippogriff even good? Because he saw that I had four of them, and I said no. And that is why this is on the list. If you are new to this game, and if you don't use the Discord, and if you haven't spent a lot of time researching what is worth something, do not trade. You are going to get scammed by high-level players because that's how they get better pets. They scam the noobs. You could be that noob. You need to be careful. Stop trading unless you know what you're doing. And for God's sake... Stop begging. I'm sure you can tell this by now, but I really hate beggars, all right? <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next one, which is the reward islands. We mentioned this before. If you're using boosts, if you're doing things properly, you should be completing the reward island, especially if you're free to play, okay? If you're not good at trading, if you don't have a lot of Robux to hatch secret pets, because without boosts, hatching a secret pet is basically impossible. Those people are so lucky. You shouldn't be bothering. You should first be completing your reward island. These end pets are really, really powerful. As you can see, 
I completed this one. This was actually an overlord, so of course I was going to complete it because everybody loves overlords. But let's find a uh, high-level pet of mine that is from a final thing. So here, the Atlantis Overlord. It's not even... This is an old pet. This is two worlds ago and several updates. This is months and months ago I got this. It's still 16,000 gems and 12,000 coins. And it's not even maxed enchanted. Completing your reward islands is the most surefire way that you can get free good pets. Again, if you want to check out that Bubble Boy series that I did, the Noob to Pro and Bubblegum Simulator, it's a little bit outdated, but I used the reward islands to boost my progress really, really quickly. They are amazing. Trust me, if you haven't done them, this is something you should seriously consider doing. Now, finally, if you have completed the reward island and it is time for you to start farming eggs, which is great because opening a lot of eggs does lead to some amazing prizes. Let's have a quick look here. So as simple as, I've skipped most of these, but like 300,000 hatched eggs is a hexarium, which is actually worth a little bit when trading. I've done this on three different accounts. Big Bubble Boy is one of them. Uh, I've done 500,000 on two accounts and I've done a million on this account. Three million for this guy is amazing. But check this out. 500,000, you get plus 1.25 luck. That's universal everywhere. You hatch slightly faster and at a million, you get an extra pet equipped. These are so powerful. All right, and these have recently been added and they are very strong. So once you've completed a reward island for a world, let's just say that you're pretty new to the game. You haven't completed Atlantis. So you're doing the reward island. Good for you. That Atlantis overlord is going to be awesome because it's going to get you a lot of pearls to farm eggs in there if you want. But let's say you have completed the beach world. So you got a few options here. You want to farm eggs, right? There's no events going on. There's no special pets that are out there. It's just like a normal week in Bubblegum Simulator. And this is the only world you've completed. So this is the most efficient world for you to be opening eggs. So what do you do? You need to decide which egg you're going to open. So you can go the easy route. I've never hatched a king crab. <laughs> You can go the easy route and just farm this, get a bunch of these, maybe make shiny king crabs. It could take a week or two to get a single shiny one. Maybe that's what you want to do. Or maybe you want to try your luck at a secret pet. You know, you feel lucky. You're feeling like you should go after a secret pet. Do your research on the wiki. Find out which eggs have secret pets in the worlds that you've completed. For example, this one here. Give me a secret pet. Go on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Ah, that egg, the water egg has the sea star in it, which is one of the secret pets. And then after that, you can, you know, set your sights on the reward islands. Maybe you'll finish the reward islands in the underworld, which is great because this is the newest world. So the secret pet from here is worth more than the others because it hasn't been around for as long. So you do a little bit of research, you start farming up your magma, and you can grind this final egg here because there is a fallen angel secret pet in here. And the king guy made shiny probably worth a little bit trading, or it's just cool to have bragging rights over your friends. So once you've completed the reward islands, or maybe you don't need to complete them because there was an event and there's better pets that you got from the event than the, award, than the reward islands can offer you, do some research on that world, farm up some currency, and start farming eggs that have high value legendaries in it, but also have a very small chance of a secret pet, because if you get lucky and get a secret pet, I've got one person who did, it changes the game for you completely. Either you can trade it for something that you really, really want, like a bunch of legendaries or an older secret pet that you like, or maybe you can use your new secret pet plus some legendaries for like an older shiny secret pet, things like that. Choosing the correct eggs to farm can completely change the game. Also consider values, okay? Underworld is the newest, which means the legendaries here are probably worth the most out of all of the worlds because people are still farming Underworld. You've got to consider the community whenever you're farming eggs. Now, my final tip is honestly probably one of the most important ones, and that is events. Event pets have more value than anything else in the game because they will become rare, okay? They will be rare pets. So in here, farming the Dark Omens... Super valuable. Complete the reward island first because the elephant's super valuable. Get the guy from in here, the plushie, the dragon plushie. He's super valuable because they're going to be rare. When these disappear on the 7th, they will stop coming into the game. People who quit the game, they leave the game and their value goes up because those pets are no longer available for trading. Farming events is super important, which is why it might not be fun running around collecting all these tickets or doing the card matcher or doing the chest every 15 minutes. But if you really, really want to be good at this game, grinding like mad on the events is really important. And this goes into my final point, which is save Robux, okay? Let's say you can't spend that much on the game. I, I don't spend much on the game anymore. 
if I'm grinding out regular eggs, I don't use boosts, okay? I'm just farming for, you know, hatch numbers. Maybe I'll get a secret pet if I'm super lucky. I don't really use boosts unless I'm using them from my bubble pass, in which case I will use boosts. If an event comes along, I want to use boosts. So if you can only boost once a month with Robux, because these aren't that cheap. Say you can only afford to buy better shiny, increased luck, or faster egg. Maybe you can only buy this once a month. Don't use it on regular eggs. Wait for an event to come around, then buy your boosts, and then open event eggs. Let yourself open some of these first, open some of these, get yourself a good amount of currency, maybe two or three billion, then buy an hour worth of double luck and speed open and go for it. Give yourself the best chance possible to get these rarer event pets. So if you can't afford to spend a lot, save your Robux and spend them on the events. That's for boosting, okay? There are a lot of game passes that are definitely worth getting before you boost. So example, get yourself double luck wherever it is. Get your double luck, all right? Get more pets equipped, get the triple egg unlocked, things like that. But once you've got those game passes, use your Robux to boost for events. Don't boost all the time, unless you can afford to. If you've got millions of Robo, you can do whatever you want. You don't need that bit of advice, and you know you don't. Alrighty, guys, that is going to do it for today's tips and tricks video. This is a longer video than I expected to make. I hope you watched it all the way through, because I put a lot of effort into these notes, right? My paper here, lots of effort. Please leave a like and comment down below with some of your own tips. If I think your tip is worth seeing, I will love heart it. So if you're new to the game and you need some more advice, check out the comment section. If it's got a heart for me, I think it's good advice. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like on today's video. Comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Turn that notification bell on so you never miss an upload. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.